We are at the McDonald's in Lando Lakes. And listen to this, one in eight Americans have worked at a McDonald's restaurant. Joining me now is Gabriela Hernandez. She's the owner and operator at this particular McDonald's restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Yeah, it's so great to be here. Your restaurant is beautiful. It's oh, a great location. And I love your story. So tell us how you got started working at a McDonald's. Yeah, so it's a family affair. My parents um, are owner operators and slowly but surely my siblings started to get into it too. And I fell in love with it. I mean, I was working in the restaurant since I can remember. Ketchup in my veins is what we say. And slowly, I just started to fall more in love with it and decided to join the business. Worked my butt off. And now here I am with two restaurants. So I couldn't be more proud. Yeah, you started working in fries and now you own it. Fries, yeah. I mean, I remember my first day. I went home sweating. It's so much work. And that's why I have so much appreciation for my people. So um, no, it's been a blast. So what is it about working at a McDonald's that really gives you that passion that you clearly have for this industry? Yeah, I mean, it's all about people at McDonald's. We have, I, I don't think any owner operator doesn't have as much passion as, as I'm talking about now. I mean, it's incredible to see our people transform their lives through McDonald's, right? We have special benefits like uh, our choice to opportunity, which is probably my favorite to talk about. I mean, what we offer there, it's, so our choice was established in 2015. It's a US initiative that's really just um, a bunch of programs, educational programs to help support our McFamily. So we offer English under the arches, we offer Spanish courses, we offer a potential free um, high school diploma, and then even tuition assistance if you want to continue that education. So what I love about McDonald's, long story short, is that it doesn't matter who you are or your background or whatever the case is, there's a purpose for everyone. No matter where you're at in your journey, we can make something work for you through flexible scheduling. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a mom of five or if you're, you know, it's your first job as a, as a teenager, there's anything and everything for you to do here. Yeah, there really is a, a lot of opportunities that you just mentioned, but then also talk about how it's really giving you skills for maybe you're deciding you just want to work through college or maybe you want to continue on like you did and have this path. Talk about the skills that you gain by working at McDonald's. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the big ones is multitasking, right? You're never just going to be doing one thing. And I feel like that's a great skill to learn, especially as you grow up and you go into adulthood. And then um, just leadership skills, effective communication, how to talk to someone, how to resolve issues um, is what we teach our people all every single day. All right, we're in a McDonald's, so we got to talk about the food. Yeah, so back again this year, not only do we have our pumpkin spice lattes, which is always a fan favorite, but we have our favorite iconic Halloween trio back, McGoblin, McPumpkin, and McBoo. And with them come along our Halloween pails or boo buckets, whatever you decide to call them. And they're always so much fun. I mean, our customers go crazy over them every single time, and they repurpose them. Sometimes they'll use them for trick-or-treats, or they'll decorate with them, and it's an absolute blast. But they go fast, so get yours today. Yeah, they're nostalgic. They've been around since 1986. Yes. Yeah. So you probably have had a boo bucket in your lifetime. Oh, yeah. I have plenty of memories with boo buckets. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And you got some new food as well, some new th items for the menus? Yes, we have two new sauces. So I, I love sauce with McDonald's. I don't think there's any item that I don't put sauce on. And the two new ones are sweet and spicy jam and then mambo sauce. Sweet and spicy jam, I will say, is my favorite just because it has a little bit of a kick. So I'll have like a Szechuan peppercorn mixed oh. with some cayenne pepper, apple cider vinegar. It's like chef's kiss to whoever put that together. It's, it's really good. Wonderful. Well, Gabriella, thank you for having us and for talking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.